They're pretty. Okay, so you've watched the other pelvic floor videos. So I'm gonna take you through some exercises now. Some of the stuff is similar to what we did in class on Tuesday. So pelvic floor, right, is this hammock kind of of muscles at the base of your body. And we're gonna think about matching that pelvic floor with our diaphragm. So our lungs and our diaphragm work together, right? So as our lungs, in, as we inhale and our lungs expand in all directions, um, the diaphragm drops down to create space for that expansion. So the diaphragm is almost like, it's sort of shaped like this. I feel like it's shaped kind of like a jellyfish. And so it drops down as you inhale and as you exhale, it kind of billows up to help push out the air, right? So, or the CO2. So let's think about the pelvic floor and the diaphragm kind of working together. So as you inhale, you can actually kind of release your pelvic floor and it can expand and widen down. And as you exhale, the pelvic floor contracts and draws up and in a little bit, similar to the pattern of the diaphragm. So let's think about the diaphragm and the pelvic floor working together. Diaphragm and pelvic floor on the inhale, on the exhale, they both kind of go up, right? Contraction of the pelvic floor muscles, right? And it, it's the opposite with the diaphragm, but it's expanding and getting bigger and going up. So we're gonna start, you're gonna start, after I kind of demonstrate, you're gonna pause your video and do this like five to 10 times. So we're gonna lie in what is called constructive rest, the way that we generally lie in class, um, with those parallel legs. Um, and you're gonna bring your hands to your hips if you want. And I just want you to practice thinking about that pelvic floor, dropping down as you inhale and expanding. You can think about those quadrants that Bonnie talks about, like your two sits bone, your coccyx, or your tail and your pubic bone, or the diagonal quadrants expanding away from each other. And then as you exhale, imagine the pelvic floor contracts and draws up and in, and those four quadrants come closer together. So I just want you to spend five to 10 breaths practicing that, yeah? And think about maybe also what's happening at the level of your lungs and your diaphragm, yeah? So pause your video, or I'm gonna start a new video. So I'm gonna push stop.